Hmm. Huh? All right. Magandang linggo sa inyong lahat. Uh, it's a nice feeling na nilipat tayo sa Sunday na mas maganda ang slot bago mo dinner, 6 o'clock, at marami tayong pag-uusapan ngayon. Ito ang ating episode 2. Ang episode 2 natin, tungkol pa rin sa kape. Last, last week, gumawa tayo ng mga method na mga filter coffee, um, French press, um, mocha pot. Ngayon, tatalakayin natin ang espresso. Ang espresso. Why is espresso so important? At saka cold brew nga pala. Okay? Gawin na muna natin yung ano. Gawin muna natin yung cold brew. Sige. Ito ha. Timbang tayo ng... Uh, ang cold brew, kung na-acidify ang tiyan nyo, nahihirapan... Ang cold brew, kung na-acidify ang tiyan nyo, nahihirapan kayo. No? Dahil na-acid kayo sa coffee o kaya masyado kayo napapait. Okay. Gawa tayo ng cold brew. Cold brewing is a process where you leave the coffee between uh, 18 hours to 24 hours. Yung iba 12 hours para mas lighter. Kasi ang coffee, may caffeine yan, di ba? Pampagising yan. Caffeine is water-soluble. So habang tumatagal sa... Tumatagal yan sa water, tumataas ang ating caffeine. So, ang cold brew, kahit na hindi masyadong acidic yan, hindi, hindi masyadong uh, mataas ang bitterness dahil sa heat. Walang heat siya. Ang, ang, ang nagiging ano, kapalit nito is mataas ang caffeine. Kung gusto nyong gising na gising kayo, kung gusto may ginagawa kayo at uh, dahan-dahan kayo nagsisip, cold brew is the answer. And, Ito, ito na ang cold brew natin. Oh. Ito cold brew natin. Nilagay ko sa garapon to Negros blend made by uh, Coffee Culture Roasters, the pride of Negros. Ha? Galing pa Negros yan. Lahat ng coffee natin, puro Filipino coffee. At saka lahat ng coffee natin today, puro na order ko sa internet. Kaya kayang-kaya nyo makuha itong mga napakasarap na mga kape na to. Tapos to. Comfy Beans House Blend Arabica. Okay? Gumawa ko ng coffee cold brew concentrate. Ano kailangan natin? 500 ml ng water. Half a liter. Okay? And then, maraming magsasabi na medyo malaki sira nitong si Chef Gina. Grabe siya. Biruin mong Ito gagamitin niya. Okay. I use 80 grams of coffee for my house brew. Between 80 to uh, 90 grams. No? So, ito, ilalagay lang natin to dito sa garapon. Okay? Your coffee, remember, when you're preparing coffee, dapat filtered coffee. Huwag galing sa gripo because uh, it makes a lot of sense na kailangan malinis ang coffee para malinis din ang lasa at saka kailangan ang kape natin uh, less of the heavy mineral load. No? Kaya kailangan maganda ang filtration ng coffee or distilled co water. Pwede rin. Siyempre, Morning waker, upper niyan yan o pampagising niyan yan paghapon. Di ba dapat special yan lagi? Kaya nga, ito tinuturo ko sa inyo for the home. Okay? So, ito. Mga 80 grams na yan. And, we stir this. Walang ano yan, ha? Walang heat yan. No heat. Not hot water. This is cold water. All right. And this is ready sa refrigerator. 24 hours. 
Yan. Ako, 24 hours ako. Matapang to. Concentrated to. In fact, eto na siya. Eto. Kaya nga, Negros blend. Tapos ito, comfy beans. Galing sa comfy beans. Puro mga nabili ko sa internet, no? And, nilagay ko sila sa paper filter. Ayan, no? Nagda-drop. So, makikita nyo, talagang concentrated yan. Okay? At marami tayo magagawang creation dito sa coffee na to. Right? Ito, ito ang tinatawag nilang cold brew. Nandiyan yung lasa, pero wala yung harshness and acidity of the coffee. Because heat creates acidity. So ito, tatago ko na to. Lalagay na natin, 24 hours to. Tapos nun, si strain natin. Ayan o, oh, ang strainer ko. Paper filter ang gamit ko. Okay? So, let's let that drop. Mamaya, gagawa tayo ng cold coffee creations natin. Okay? Like I said, ayan o. No? Coffee culture, coffee beans. Okay? Ngayon, lipat tayo ng attention natin dito. Ito ang espresso machine. Okay? Nagmumurahan na rin ang mga espresso machine. Biro nyo dati, yung mga ganitong mga model, yung, biro nyo dati yung mga ganitong model, mga 15,000, hindi na ngayon. Hindi na ngayon. Meron pa nga nakukuha kayo na uh, meron sa internet, makikita ko, 3,000, 4,000. No? And they look good. They look okay. Although I have to try that out yet. So, take a look if they're going to ask me to test it, no? Papatetesting sa akin yung mga coffee ano, machines nila. Pero sa tingin ko, mukhang okay yan. Ngayon, nakakatawa kasi ito, Italian, Italian machine ko to. Ito na sa akin to. Okay? This makes excellent espresso. 15 bars ang pressure nito. 15 bars. Okay? 15 bars. Ngayon, Itong pinagdala sa akin ng kaibigan ko, si Rishi, ito din yung bagong product niya. Nakakatuwa kasi mataas daw, 18 bars daw to. At saka, can, at saka, can ano, can, uh, what do you call this? Can produce. This is made by American Heritage. Ayan. This little machine can produce up to 18 bars of coffee. And this little machine no, can handle wide pads and small pads. Pero ako, hindi ako boto dito eh. Unang-una, sa akin, hindi masarap to eh. Ako ha, yung mga nakikita natin sa coffee, hindi sariwa. Parang tingin ko, to me, I feel this is dead coffee. Lasang kahoy. Okay? Hindi, hindi talaga maano. Mas maganda talaga yung freshly ground. Ngayon, yung dalawang pads, kaya niyan, at saka, kaya rin itong, kaya rin niya itong ano. Ayan, no? Ground. Kaya pwedeng gumawa at gumamit ng Philippine coffee. You have to remember that Philippine coffee, no? Philippine coffee is award-winning coffee. Ang dami natin napapano, na, napapanalong awards recently sa mga international uh, competitions. Kaya malakas ang loob ko na to endorse talaga Philippine coffee. Napakahusay ng kapeng Pilipinas. And remember, uh, way back, More, a little more than a hundred years ago, Philippine coffee was famous all over the world also because it supplied uh, Europe with coffee from Batangas. Kaya naging famous ang coffee ng Batangas dahil sa Barako, dahil sa Liberica bean. Which, hey, yan no? Which we're going to taste today, ayan no? By good beans. Ito, yung Liberica bean, Barako yan, Liberica Very strong yan. Kaya nung nagkaroon ng coffee blight sa Brazil, lumipat ang mundo, bumili ng kape na Batangas. 
Ngayon, hindi lang pala sa Batangas magaling mag, mag, uh, magtanim ng kape. Ang gagaling ng mga farmer natin, yung mga high elevation coffees, mga Arabica, yan. Sa Mindanao, sa Bukid noon, yan. Yan ang mga high elevation coffees ng mga nananalo ngayon. Tapos yung Excelsa natin. Meron tayong Excelsa. Galing din sa Good Bean, no? Ang bango-bango ng Excelsa natin, galing sa Medyo may kataasan din. Galing sa Holy Mountain ng Quezon. Okay? Sa Mount Banahaw. So, bakit importante ang espresso? Sa akin, this is my most favorite extraction, coffee extraction method. Because it is fast, it has lots of texture, and it has lots of strength. But, when it comes to caffeine, hindi matagal na bababad yung kape. Kaya kahit nasabihin mo highly concentrated yung espresso natin, pareho lang yan sa donut shop na ganyang kalaking coffee. Pareho lang ang kape niyan. Yun yung, yun yung nakakatuwa. No? So, try natin. Sige, ano tayo? Ang ginawa ko, ang ginawa ko ay tinimbang ko na ang ating lineup ng kape. Okay. Tinimbang ko na ang ating lineup ng kape. At yung tinimbang ko, nandito na. Naka-number na. So, iaano ko lang sa inyo yung mga different styles. Okay? So, ano ang timbang ng kape? Uh, normally, in a single shot espresso, yung talagang konti lang, mga 30 ml lang, in a single shot espresso, uh, in a single shot espresso, uh, people use The standard, the Italian standard, well, the Italians in there, was, uh, the Italian standard is 8 grams. Okay? Ako, I like the doppio or double, which is easily between 16 to 18 grams. Ito, itong, itong ano na to, papalo to ng mga, oops, papalo to ng mga, 18 grams. Okay? Ako, yung assistant ko, si Joan, wala ako. Kailangan, anuhin ko yung yung pamper. Okay? Now, we have to create, we have to create, we have to compress this in the basket. We call this the basket, no? The coffee basket. And this is the tamper. Maraming klaseng tamper. May bakal na tamper. Ito yung simple lang. This go, comes with the machine. And ito, this is a volumetric dose of about, if you have an espresso grind, mga 8 grams nga ito. Okay? I use two of this for a doppio or a double espresso. Gusto ko sa ubaga o gusto ko pag nag, ano ko, nabibitin ako sa isang ganun lang eh. So, ito. And our bean, our bean is a uh, red and yellow bourbon, katimor, no? Katimor. So, these are Arabica types. Bourbon and katimor, na Arabica types from Mount Apo. And this comes from the good cup. Ayan, no? Ang bilis ng mga delivery ng mga yan. Pag uh, umu-order ako, okay. Abang na natin yan, ha? Yung number two espresso natin is a pea berry medium dark mount apple from Good Beans. Ano ang pea berry? Okay. Ito ang seeds. Ito ang seeds na tinatawag nila or coffee beans. Ayan ang coffee beans. Ito ang arabica, medyo malaki. Ito ang Excelsa, mas maliit. Wala akong sample ng Robusta, nasa gitna ng itong Arabica at Excelsa. Ngayon, anong pea berry? Makikita nyo, dito sa Arabica, makikita nyo, may hiwa ay sa, ano pala to? Barako pala to, Liberica to, malaking to. Okay, makikita nyo may hiwa yung mga beans sa gitna. Oh. Ayan, may hati. Itong hati na to, Typical sa coffee yan. Ano ang pea berry? 
Walang hati. Buong bilog. And this is handpick. Pinipili ito dahil very rare. Handpick to pinipili ito ng mga uh, mga growers, no? mga nag-harvest, pinipili ito. So, what, what, what makes it different? Ang um, pi-berry, very soft ang very soft ang very soft ang ano ang and creamy ang style ng coffee na pinoproduce niya. So, ito, ilalagay ko yung pea berry dito sa American Heritage Machine natin. Okay, you have to remember that this uh, style of uh, this style of extraction, coffee extraction, the style of coffee extraction is pressurized. Pinoforce niya yung very hot water into the coffee to be able to create a good extraction. So ito, napakadali lang to. Papasok lang natin dito. Baliktad pala. Okay. And we lock it. There you go. Okay? So, this is the single espresso cup. This is the double espresso cup or doppio. I'm going to use the doppios. Okay? Ito ha, doppio. Pareho. Okay? I'm going to do my extraction of the Mount Apo, uh, Mount Apo, Mount Apo Bourbon Katimor. And I'm going to also extract the pea berry, uh, uh, the pea berry from Mount Apo din. Mount Apo, biro mo, because it's a volcano, napaka-fertile ng, napaka-ganda, volcanic, ano. O, take a look at the extraction. Ang bilis niya. It will only take about 18 to 20 seconds. Okay? Here, I am also going to Do the extraction. There you go. There's the extraction. You can see how rich. And there is the formation of crema. Yung bubbles na nasa taas. Yung formation ng crema natin. Ano yan? That is very essential because this is, this is what gives texture to our coffee. Ayan, no? This is what gives texture to our coffee. Ayan. So, ito, nag extract na rin. So, this is the red and yellow verb katimor mount apo no from good cup coffee no ito automatic ito hindi so ito mamatay na lang sa magisa wow floral siya parang tea ang lasa no ito ano very similar to yung nakita ko sa Taiwan na parang yung tinatawag nilang geisha na parang may perfume na halo yung coffee. Oops. Dapat pala yung single lang. Anyway. So, ito yung extraction. Mm. So, magkaibang ano, character nila pareho, no? Yung extraction to, itong pea berry. More of uh, roasted nuts, tobacco, okay? wood smoke. While itong espresso from Mount Apo na red and yellow bourbon katimor, floral, light. So magkaiba style talaga. Ngayon kayo pipili ng style lang gusto nyo. So, what you do is you just buy the small 80 to 100 gram uh, sample packs. And when you have a favorite or two favorite coffees, then you keep it. Hindi na naman pwede mag-stack. Huwag kayo nagsa-stack, ha? Dapat ginagamit niyo yung coffee niyo para maganda. O, tinan niyo. Tinan niyo yung crema. That's thousands of bubbles. Including bringing out the aroma of the coffee. 
bringing out the aroma of the coffee and coming out with your extraction. Okay? So, di pa tayo. Okay? Makikita nyo, magkaiba yan. Magkaiba yung lasa ng coffee niya. Okay? I'm going to ask, uh, ito, itatamp natin. Makikita nyo yan sa mga coffee shop. Okay. And, this one, we'll take off the lock. And, I will ask my assistant, Joan, to uh, to take care of that and clean it. Okay, a next extraction natin. Ano next extraction natin? Oh, yung nagpayaman at nagpa-famous sa Philippines. Okay? Yung Lipa Liberica. Ito ang tinatawag nilang barako. Ngayon nakakatawa kasi pag sinabi yung barako, parang ang tingin ng mga tao, pag sinabi yung barako, ay yung tinatakal o way na coffee beans sa palengke. Hindi po yun ang tunay na barako. Ang tunay na barako is the Liberica bean. Ito. Ito. Yung malalaki. Tingita nyo malalaki. Okay? The Liberica bean The Liberica bean is very spicy, very fragrant. Okay? Okay, so ito. Winay ko na rin ito. Kinalagay natin, mag-extraction tayo ng Liberica or Baraco. Thank you. Okay. So, itatamp natin ito. Lalagyan natin ng pressure para magkaroon ng tamp. Okay? Tapos may konting, konting space. Okay? We have a little space there. Okay? That, that is where your water will flow and will be, uh, will do the extraction. No? Magkakaroon ng konting play sa flow and the extraction. Okay? This is about uh, 18 grams, okay? And replace it again in this bin, okay? Then, the other one, so that is Lipa Liberica, no? From the good bin, that pH, okay? And then, yung number four natin, na extraction, ito, very, very exclusive na coffee to. Galing kay Gina Elorango from Frog Cafe, Davao City. Itong Gina is not only a licensed Arabica certified Arabica and Robusta grader, Gina Elorango is also a uh, cafe owner. So, she roasts her own beans so, makikita nyo, napakaganda nitong uh, mga creations ni Gina. And you can get in touch with her. Either you go Frog Cafe, okay? K-A-F-F-E. Diyan ako tumatambay pag gusto kong mag masarap na kape. Or, mamaya, may isa pa na magaling na roaster. Nakita ko to, bata pa lang itong tum baristang to eh. Ngayon, ano na siya? Roaster na siya. Hindi na, uh, hindi na siya competitive na barista. Ano na siya? Supplier siya to restaurants. Okay. Itong, itong si Gina Elorango also supplies. And you can, uh, many of my friends who are cafe aficionados also ask her to send them their signature coffees. Okay. I will. Okay, hindi natin yung ating bowl. Okay, let us get our doppio lock. And 
do our extraction. Ito will be the Lipa Liberica or the Baraco. This will be the Mount Apo Bacopa, no? Coffee made by Gina Elorango. Okay? Wow! Beautiful! Ang ganda! Tingnan nyo, oh. Bronze ang crema. Ang ganda ng crema. Oh. Yan ang liba, lipa, liberica. Okay? Wow! Hello! 607 viewers na tayo! Thank you po. Thank you. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Mamaya maglalakol tayo, ha? Maraming salamat sa inyong uh, pakikinig at panunod. Sana you learn something here. O oh, ito, may crema rin. Itong American Heritage. Oh. This is the Mount Apo Bacopa Medium Rose. Medium Rose to. Kaya hindi siya kasing dark ng rose na to. Kaya kita nyo yung yung foam niya o yung crema niya iba. Okay? That stays the barako. Wow! Very, very fragrant, almost alcoholic. Parang brandy, parang parang brandy, parang chocolate cake na may brandy. Mmm! Parang, parang sumasyap ka ng ng brandy nga. Parang sumasyat ka ng brandy. Yung Lipa Liberica. Lipa Liberica is also very good for blending with other beans. Yung mga natututo ng magkape, no? Na masarap. Yung iba, gumagawa sila ng sariling blend nila. Yung sariling secret blend nila. So, these are one of the beans that you can blend. The other one is also the Mount Banahaw uh, Excelsa, no? Itong Barako, napakagandang i-blend nito. Pwede masarap i-blend to with uh, Arabica and Robusta. Mm. Okay. So that is very uh, alcoholic, almost brandy-like. Okay. Very fragrant, no? very floral, perfumey, and very uh, caramel. Okay. Ito naman, yung gawa ni Gina na medium roast, kaya lighter yung foam niya, bilog. Nalalasahan mo yung nuts. Nalalasahan mo yung mga fruit skins. No? Yung, yung parang mga fruits, mga banana peel, uh, nangka, durian. Yung, yung, yung terwa, yung tinatawag nilang environment ng Mount Apo. Ito. Wow! That is a uh, very smooth, very caramel, very toffee-like. Napakasarap din. Alam mo, masasarap. Wala pa ako na encounter dito na hindi masarap ah. Yung, yung galing sa yung galing sa ano, sa what's this? Sa uh, good coffee, a uh, good beans, tapos galing sa good cup coffee, galing kay Gina Elorango. Okay? So let's do two more. Two more espressos. Kita nyo, ang bilis ng extraction. When you when you do the extraction, when you do the extraction, ang bilis niya. So, taktakin lang natin. I'll take this out. Oh, John. And we are going to taste two more. One is a done by uh, Joel Manlod. This is the honey anaerobic process. Mount, uh, Mount Apoden, Bacopa side. But this is an Arabica Katimor. Okay? This is a new Arabica strain that is very uh, well planted here in the Philippines and in Vietnam. Okay? Pero ang ginamit nila, honey anaerobic process. Yung anaerobic process is ang fermentation ng beans, sinisil nila. Tapos ang pinapaakyat nila para maging tasty yung beans, 
dahil naka-seal siya, pinapaakit nila yung amino acids nung, nung, ano, nung beans para tasty siya, para fermented siya, binuburo nila yung beans. Okay? So, ito yung, ito yung gagamitin natin para sa uh, next extraction natin, which is our number extraction, Joel Manlu. He was the second runner-up to the national bata pa lang itong batang bata ito eh. Actually, I was very impressed by this person, si Joel, because he was the second, he was the, uh, he was the runner-up to the champion when I judged the uh, first Philippine Barista Championship. And I later learned he was so familiar, napakamukhang familiar niya, na I later asked him, nung nasa coffee shop niya, sumali ka ba sa competition? Ganyan, ganyan. Tapos nakatawa siya. Yes, yes, chef. Kayo huwi nag-judge. And now, he is, he went beyond being a barista. He is a roaster, he is a blender and supplier to many of the top restaurants and coffee shops in Davao. Okay. So this is Joel Manlod, and the name of his uh, uh, the name of his coffee shop is called Purge, P U R G E. A okay? Purge Roasters. Okay. Your number six, naman natin, is by Coffee Beans. This is a single origin. What do you mean by single origin? Okay. Single origin means it comes only from one place. Isang paniman lang o isang farm. So, single origin is single origin is uh, ito, Arabica to. Okay? Single origin Arabica. At saka, ito ay galing sa comfy beans. Okay, ito, you don't need to pump this. This is already your pumper. That's why I'm I'm impressed by this. I take this when I travel. When I travel, because I always like good coffee. Eh. So, dadalhin ko to pag nag-travel ako. Kasi napaka-handy at saka napaka-compact niya. Pag dinis-assemble ko to, konti lang kailangan mo. Ito, saka kung maliit yung place mo, maliit yung kwarto mo, Okay din to. Okay? So, let's lock it. Okay? That's good. Okay? Let's wait for Dano to heat up. And while we're heating up, pa tayong ibang espresso creation. While we're heating up. Okay? I'm going to heat a little milk. Okay, hindi natin paabutin ng hindi natin masyadong paabutin yung point to. Okay. And because we don't pwede gamitin na itong steamer na to, no? The steamer attachment. But many of our friends uh, who are watching don't have a machine yet. So, Gamitin natin to. Gamitin natin ang French press. So we will heat this uh, milk and we will do a uh, do an extraction uh, do an extraction from the espresso and create two things that I love during the morning. Two things. Okay, let's extract this.
Okay, so you can really taste, malalasahan nyo talaga yung tunay na lasa ng kape. At saka yung galing at skill ng roaster, no? Kung kailan niya ititigil, kailan niya i-stop. Yun ang, yun ang ano eh, yun ang cue. So, this is by Purge Roasters or of the Vow City, Joel Manlod. At Joffel. Wow, taas ng aroma. Ang ganda ng aroma. Parang, parang kending karam. Sandalwood. Mm. Mm, complex. May light acidity siya. Mukhang yun ang style niya eh. May, may light acidity. Pero tama lang, hindi yung maasim na kape. Okay? And, you know, what we can do, eto, tingnan nyo, konti lang yan. Pero pag, magdo-double yan to almost triple. Wow! This is uh, espresso by Joel, uh, Joel Manlod. It's really fantastic. Okay? Okay? So, eto, you can have an espresso macchiato there. Lalagyan lang ng konti yan. Okay? Let's extract this already. Or, you can have what we call espresso colana, which is with cream. Okay. And let's do cold creations. Gawa tayo ng magagandang creations. With our cold brew this time, ha? Abangan nyo yung cold brew. Gagawa na tayo ng cold creations natin. Okay? Ito, i-reserve ko rin to for uh, i-reserve ko rin to for our uh, ito yung um, ito yung coffee beans. Premium Arabica. Okay. Hmm. Bilog ang lasa. Creamy siya sa palette. Okay? And what we can do is to create in the morning sa Europe, they have, lalo na sa Spain, they have what you call the cortado. Ayan. Mas mataas lang ng konti. Sinisilbe sa baso. Yan ang parang cappuccino nila. No? Mas maraming milk ang cappuccino pero Mas ano ang kortado. Okay? So, let's do our creations. Ito yung cold brew. Tapos, gawa pa tayo ng isa pang espresso. Okay, some people don't like cold brew because it's very high in, uh, in caffeine content. Okay? So, I am going to be Extracting. Oh, Joan. Okay, so ito. What are we going to do with this? The first is very, very simple. Ito, cold brew. Straight forward. Gusto mo talagang... Gusto mo talagang cold brew mo? Okay, serve it for shot. Ganyan, parang scotch. Okay? It's light sipping. Very powerful espresso. Joan, can you please, ano, help me here? Dito, dito. Dito. We will brew this with our LOs. We'll make an espresso. Okay? And, aside from the cold brew, aside from this, there, there is something that, can, that you can add to to give it your magandang texture. Ang cold brew or ang espresso. Okay? 
Lagyan natin ng ice to. Lagyan natin ng ice to. Tapos, we are going to put our we're going to put our uh, how do you call it? Our uh, uh, cold brew concentrate. Okay? Do a shake. Ito, very famous to sa Korea. And this is what you call a shackle. Add texture by shaking it. Add texture by shaking the drink. Ayan, no? Nag-shake siya. And you create what you call the shakerato. Okay? And you can add some uh, milk to this, no? Let's just add the foam. And foam milk. Okay. All right. There is your shakerato. Okay. Now we will prepare. Two items. Um, nga pala, Joanne, gawa tayo ng dalgona, pero special na dalgona. I know maraming, maraming taong mahilig sa dalgona, no? So, gawa tayo ng dalgona coffee. Okay. Para lang maiba ang dalgona nyo. Okay. Ito ang coffee granules and we are going to do two tablespoons of the dalgona. Two tablespoons with some warm water and some sugar. Okay? So, one is to one. No? Coffee granules. Ah, granules ang ginagamit ko, hindi powder. Okay? Tapos, gagawin lang foaming ni Joanne. Okay? By adding about uh, one tablespoon of water. No? Hihintay natin mag-foam. So, let's put ice on our creation. Okay, ito, sa ating mga kaibigan na nanonood, okay, ito ang ating condensed na pan. Okay, ito, sweeten na natin para maganda. Alright, we put our, we put our, uh, our concentrate. I cold brew concentrate, replace some milk, okay, and we have a very colorful coffee pandan creation. There you go. Then, ito naman. Ito naman, gamit tayo ng chocolate syrup or chocolate Concentrate. Okay, more and more, John. Please, more. That will foam some more. And we'll go na natin, patatayuin ni John. Okay, so... So we have a few minutes left. Ito ang ating other creations. Okay, we have uh, chocolate. So medyo mokang style na to. Sige, more and more. 
Alright? So we put on ice. Okay, and we use our cold brew again. You can use espresso if you don't like cold brew. Okay, there's our chocolate. And let's mix it with some milk to let uh, our to let our iced coffee dance around. Kita nyo, sumasayaw ng konti. Lagyan natin ng cream kung gusto nyo. Oh, yan. There you go. So, you have a nice mocha. No? Concentrated mocha. And ito, gagawa na natin. Tumayo na. Okay. So, gagawa tayo ng Here is our for our last uh Second episode, uh, yung ube. Ano yung ube? Okay. So, here's some ube condensed milk. Ube condensed milk, okay? There you go. We put some milk. Next week, ano tayo, ha? Uh, supermarket sweet wines. I will teach you how to taste wines, and I will teach you how to choose, and we will taste it together. Yung mga binili ko sa supermarket ng mga wines. Episode 1 and episode 2. Ayan ang Dalgona. Ayan, tayong tayo. Ang ganda, oh. Dalgona, ano yan? Dalgona, candy yan sa Korea. Street food candy yan. So, ayan, itata. Wow, there you go. Ayan ang Dalgona. Ube. Okay? Sa pa, sa pa, sa pa, Joan. Sa pa. Para maiba. Chocolate naman. Pero... iba, gagamitan ko ng Coco Mama. Okay? Gagamitan ko ng ating Okay? Ito ang ating coconut milk. Coconut cream para Filipino-Filipino. Pwede kang gumamit ng tableya. So, ito yung chocolate na condensed, parang sweetener, gamit ng Joan. And then, we will top with Dalgona to make a Coco Dalgona. Yes, sir. Wow, 1,000 plus viewers. Imbitahin ko kayo ha, next week. Sabihin niyo sa mga friends niyo, inum tayo ng ano, inum tayo ng sampling tayo ng wine galing sa supermarket. Okay? Tapos on, raffle off na natin yung prices, pati yung prices, Joan. Okay, meron tayong raffle off natin sa mga viewers. Mga nagko-comment, mga ano, yung mga kaibigan natin. Meron tayo from Coffee Beans. Okay? Coffee Beans from Coffee Culture. From, from Mount Apple. Yes. Mount Apple from Anoy. Uh, this is from our friends from Good Cup Company and from our friends from, uh, from uh, Good Cup Company and from Coffee Beans. And also, meron tayong espresso maker. And tayo espresso maker. And at the same time, uh, saan ba yung ano natin? Meron tayo isang pack nito. Okay? We have a pack from goodbean.ph. I'll give also a mocha pack. And from Kitchen Pro! Yay! From Kitchen Pro. Ito. Sa Kitchen Pro, ayun o. Magbibigay ako ng kuchilyo at saka yung baking pan. Okay? Ito yung kuchilyo natin from Kitchen Pro. Okay? Ako nag ako nag ako nag-endorse itong product na to at ako nagte-test with testing to. I think I teamed up with the Maslex people. Tapos ito, tinest din namin to, a non-stick pan 
for your cakes so that you can enjoy your coffee and you can make homemade baked cakes. So next week, we will have two episodes on supermarket wines, sweet wines. Okay? Yung mga mas sarap na gustong-gusto yung inom, pakikita ko at represent ko and I will teach you how to taste it. Maraming, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Meron tayong... Para makuha po natin yung last two comments na lang. Okay, meron tayong... Uh, meron tayong six gifts. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Maraming salamat sa inyo. At... Uh, I will see you on the next episode. Joanne, thank you very much. Okay? Magkakaroon tayo ng ibang guest. So, let's guess next. Uh, wine, ano, gugustuhan nyo. Napakagandang dilag. Sige. Bye-bye, everybody. At happy Sunday. Don't forget to follow me on Kumu, on uh, Laika, on IG, and on YouTube. Lahat ng recipes ko nasa YouTube. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And visit me in Cafe Isabel or the Center for Asian Culinary Studies, ang culinary school namin. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. We have...